All right, fools. We got, what, episode five going on here? We're in, I think we're going to start trying to get some magma ducts rolling and get their, I don't know, um, default state going. I don't know how, to, how else to put that, but we're going to get them out here, see how they go. Uh, let's see. Let's just take a quick census of what's going on here. We got, ooh, a troll and a giant cave toad. Probably not a threat right now, but... Merchants still, they haven't left yet from yesterday. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I have a cave croc. Ooh, I'm gonna train that. Holy crap. Okay, uh, I got a trained giant mole. Uh, let's see. Everybody looks okay. Some people sleeping. Nobody... Brew drink. That's excellent. I need lots of brew drink because I have no water! Mmm. Let's take a look at the queen. We need a general description of the queen. If it's ever going to get drawn. Ooh, long list. You, whoa. <laughs> no, that's not what I want. <coughs> to cough, of course. I've been well. When the last season she was euphoric due to inebriation. Didn't feel anything after seeing a giant cave spider die. It's annoyed after having a drink without using a goblet, mug, or cup. That's a new one to me. I didn't know that was a thing. She didn't feel anything after sleeping in an awful bedroom. Jovial. To have a mandate deadline met. Satisfied at work. Didn't feel anything after seeing a giant wombat die. Annoyed at the lack of chairs. Felt euphoric due to inebriation again. Satisfied at work. Euphoric due to inebriation. So on and so forth several times over. <laughs> Worshipper of Usen, Savior Hopeful. Citizen of the Circumstantial Corridor, blah, 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 56 years old. Very narrow, round chin. It's a clear voice. Somewhat high eyebrows are extremely dense. Her somewhat broad, splayed out ears are somewhat short. Hair is wavy. Medium length hair is arranged in double braids, but, are, but is wavy. Uh, head is somewhat tall. Hair is copper, which is a good color. Her skin is pink. Eyes are raw umber. Is that a brown umber? Is that a sort of orangey brown? It's quite durable, susceptible to disease, likes alanite, bismuth bronze, will sell giant sloth leather, the color ivory, barrels, bracelets, catapult parts, and the sight of the flowery pregnancy. When possible, she prefers to consume giant kia, spelt beer, and donkey's milk. Uh, uh. Absolutely test muscles. So what is the flowering rate? Is that like an artwork? Because it must be. I wonder if we can... Can we get that to happen? Can we make one of those? Like a copy of it maybe on the walls or engravings of a room? That could be neat. Uh, like others in her culture, she holds craft dwarfship to, to be of the highest ideal. So Brate's talented artisans. And their masterworks has a great deal of respect for the law, greatly prizes loyalty, believes that honesty is a high ideal, greatly respects artists and their works, we kind of know that, really respects those that take the time to master skill, deeply respects those that work hard at their labors, this is getting redundant, respects fair dealing and fair play, finds merrymaking and partying's worthwhile activities, Ugh, not me, uh, values martial prowess, Values leisure time, respects commerce, values knowledge, and finds nature somewhat disturbing. I'm not sure I like this one. I like some of this, but not that part. She person hey cat. She personally disregards tradition, does not care about friendship, does not care about family one way or the other, and doesn't see cooperation as valuable. Dreams of creating a work of art, and this dream has was realized. Cool. Just any oh great art of work, work of art, whatever. Whew, there's a lot to go through here. Unfocused by unmet needs, level-headed after staying occupied, is level-headed after doing something creative, unable to acquire something, or unfocused, unfettered after drinking. Apparently, there's been a fight, or a fist fight anyways, with a giant, probably the giant cave toad, without my noticing. Uh, two people mildly injured, nothing serious. Uh, left over arm, takes see, it's just bruising. Except the guts are bruised, this one's a little sick. They'll get over it. Uh, but at some point, the paper maker jumps out of the out of the flight path of the toad. The 
paper maker jumps out of the giant toad's flight path. When was the... Did the joad... Joad. Did the toad jump? I like this. The paper, my, paper maker jumps out of the metal crafter's flight path. So apparently... Some stuff happened. Let's see. Loop two, one... Giant cave toad misses the paper maker. Blah, blah, blah. Kicks, scratches, attacks, punches. Misses, scratches, punches, bruises. Attacks, misses, punches, kicks, kicks. Punches, paper maker jumps, uh, jumps out of the flight path. I don't know this flight path business. Paper maker punches the giant cave toad. I just missed the part where the toad has a flight path or what generated the flight path. Metalcrafter jumps. There seems to be lots of flight path going on here, except there doesn't seem to be any tossing or punching or anything. So I'm not sure what that's all about. It's still around. Oh! What just happened? Mangled partial skeleton. Is this still happening? I think it is. Alright, let's send the troops. Alright, I'm gathering everybody up there. I did manage to take out the toad, but now there's a crawler. And I think that crawler's been getting a little too close to other guys. What have we got? Oh, Gremlin 2. Oh, cool, they killed it! I don't. Th I think that may be the first time I've ever killed a friggin... Uh, oh, yeah, also, sorry, I added a few more people. I need to give them a place to start training, too. So nobody... Everybody's up front. That's good. Hanging out behind the traps. Ooh! A were moose! That's... that's different. Where we, where oh, man. Top heavy. Tolus Zidalakul. Large moose. Twisted into humanoid form. Oh, I'm... kinda nervous now. Ooh! Where's he going? Oh, he's going after the animals. I suppose there's worse things. Oh my god, he's doing a lot of damage, though. <laughs> Who needed livestock? Gosh. Right now, I'm not I'm not equipped to do much about this. Oh, please stay away. Please stay away. Please stay away. Oh, he's destroying everything. Oh, and he's gone. Maybe I can get him now. Probably not. Probably not. Nope. Dang it. So I gotta worry about a were-moose now, huh? Follow. I've got my uh, military, such as it is, coming for this guy. They'll probably all die. But... Cr voracious crawler meat might be nice. Come on. Where's everybody? Come on. Did I even send them? There we go. Well, that was stupid easy. <laughs> All right. Uh, so they're still... I guess they found their way back into this area because they had been neglecting it for a long time. Uh, probably... Probably over here, when I finished building a wall, it probably created a bridge of some kind. Whoops. No, that was good. Uh, yeah, right there. Right there. That's how they got back in. It means I have to be careful. And you know what? I, oh, I've caged another thing. Actually, you know what? i got to... Train these things. Train. I realize I lost my, uh... Oh, I didn't lose my giant mole. Oh, that's because it was still... Gosh, I lost everything, didn't I? Um... What was I saying? Oh, it's still in a cage. That's why. Gosh, nine minutes in and still barely any progress on the digging. I should probably... I mean, there's repairs to make, but... I should probably just set... The priorities! Just a tad higher on these. Make them do it. I probably have enough people now, actually, that uh, my miners can have fewer gigs on the side. Actually, that will speed things up a little bit. All right. I have lunched, and now I am following a giant bat who is too close to my grand staircase. Uh, but moving away, so maybe this won't be an issue. Ooh. Copper chest. I'm <clears throat> I'm having them build a let's let's go back then. S A O. They were guarding, but no longer. 
Oh yeah. B. Arms no weapon rack. Let's put this outside so that the warriors don't get sick of the sunlight. That is. Oh, the digging, the digging's coming along though. Look at that. Do we have any? No. No new combats. That's good. Hmm. <clears throat> Doesn't look like you can train crocodiles to be eat anything really. That's just too bad. I would have loved to have had a war croc. That would have been great. It looks like the digging's pretty much done. In fact, actually, I had them do a little bit more. Let's see. I'm trying to decide. Let's align things, which means... Well, I don't know. Do I want them to make the, the walls out of marble? I don't think I do. What have I been making? I've been making walls out of dark stuff, so obsidian. I'm going to keep doing that. So F1, B, C, floor. Floors, though, aren't the same thing. So let's... I think I want them to be 3x3, three three, so let's put in some floor. We got tons of rhyolite. And use these three by threes to be our guide. So rhyolite, rhyolite, like so. Interesting. It lines up. Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it lines up. But the whole damn thing's in uh, uh, symmetrical anyway. So what does it matter? Come on, come on. Rhyolite. And then put in some wall. And if I'm going to do this, I'm going to want to, for aesthetic reasons, continue to do this elsewhere as well. So hold on a minute. We had obsidian. We have sort of enough for now. Wall. So we'll just keep doing that. Obsidian. Bloop. Floor. And it lines up with this garden out here. All right, we'll get them started on this. Oh, I've got the uh, military out front, finally. Trying stuff out. They seem to be a number of archers. I should probably have them uh, make a crossbow. Let's make three of those and actually bolt let's make a bunch of those as well hmm some of the walls out here are coming along some of them keep getting suspended though for some reason hmm gotta be worried about access so I've been putting in doors and as well just choke points things I can close hmm BT Oh, no wonder. Those are too low a priority. Please cut those down soon. Do I have any wood people left? Metalsmith. Let's make sure I have an armor. I, I turned one of them on to weapons making since all of them have been just metal crafters so far. Oh, you know what? I need... Wait a minute. BX. I don't have any floodgates. I need more floodgates. Uh, here we go. That's what I was thinking of. Hello. Make floodgate out of... Mm, why do I not see obsidian? Is obsidian... Maybe I'm just low on obsidian in general. Obsidian. Make obsidian floodgate. Please. Let's see. I may have actually run out. I had some here. Wait a minute. Rhylite. Rylight, Rylight, Rylight. Gabro. Dacite. Diorite. I may have actually stopped getting stuff. Hmm. Where can I find more? Is this. That's obsidian. So let's. Make ourselves a little bit of a quarry here. Is this also obsidian? I want to make sure I got some. Yes, it is. Okay. So. No, actually, that's as close as I can get anyways. Okay. There's also a nifty little circuitous quarry here. Get some of the stuff. I'll end up with a bunch of copper, too, from the looks of it. It will be pretty far away from all the uh, other guys. Sorry. Thinking and doing this at the same time is hard. But... These could eventually maybe then later be catacombs or something. 
Yay, caravan! Caravan, caravan! Okay. GGG. Do -do -do -do. Oh, I haven't put the corns back after they were destroyed by that thing. I want to. Ooh, that's quite a little bit. I think my guys won't go thirsty just yet. Mm, cloth bin, wood, large cut gems. Totem. A couple of totems. Uh, the large cut gem, though, is one I don't want to get rid of. I can't, actually. Let's get rid of the spore tree. Well, or all the shields, pets. Mm, well, again, it, it says I don't have much. I, I may, frankly, just not have much. Oh, we'll get rid of what we can, though. All right, I traded a few wooden spears and blowguns and stuff for a handful of bulbs, really garlic and stuff, stuff that, you know, will keep them fed. That'll be fine for now. Uh, and I'm starting... Thump, 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 thump. Somebody's doing something upstairs. Uh, getting some... Hopefully entrances out of the way so that I can actually have this place, it, not from down below, but at least from up above, cut off uh, and, and defensible. Because, you know, after seeing that necromancer the other day, I'm not entirely sure how safe I'm going to be soon. I am starting finally to distribute some we Oh, I didn't know he had a uh, weapons here. So short sword, battle axe of some interesting amount. Who sued your pillar, pillar metal? Uh, Toon Brimsky. Interesting. Mace. Yeah, I'm giving them a variety. Mace. Crossbow. Yeah. Now I also have uh, Erush Imushthimshur. Dyke partnered. Possessed. Strange mood. Not of his butcher. Not of his tanner. Adequate brewer. Thresher. Cook. Mechanic. High Master Thresher. And they stuck up a tree, and I don't think it's just because they can't get out of the tree. I think because I don't have what they want to do. I also notice uh, as soon as he he got his mood, the frame rate went way down. So he's I think actively trying to find some place to go. What am I missing? I don't have a Boyer shop. I don't think that's what he wants. But let's put one in over here. Ooh, no, not there, because then it's blocked. Um, just to find out, we'll put it real temporary. What else are we missing? Metal Forge. Could he possibly want a Metal Forge? Iron Anvils. Uh, whatever's closest. Whatever's closest. Hmm. Siege Workshop, probably not. I don't think you can do anything legendary out of those. Soap Makers Workshop. Can you make legendary soap? I don't think I've ever heard of it happening. And that's it. So between those two things... I guess maybe can I make a Soap Maker thing? Okay, let's just try it in the weird off chance that that's what's going on here. Gosh, I should have been paying closer attention. I, I sent somebody to do this a while ago, but it had slowed things down so much. I think he was seeking and stuck in the tree. So I cut the tree down, and now he is injured. How badly? Not really, just pain. Okay, that's fine. I also got giant Kias up the uh, zoo over here. They keep interrupting all my constructions. It's driving me kind of bats. But you can see I'm going to make some bridges up here. It's a little weird having them in the sky, but that's what I'm going to do for now. I'll, I'll maybe dig pits under here. And it doesn't seem like there's any... Actually, let me get started on that. It doesn't look like there's any... Uh, there's no point doing it just yet. Uh, what was I saying? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Where is he going? Is he actually going somewhere, though? Like, is he headed... for... I guess I didn't really speed it up that much, because everybody's still going pretty slow. So if not, what... See? There's a burst of speed, and then... See, this is really slow for my machine. I almost never get this. Even usually with large forts, I'm still at 30 plus frames per second, which is good enough for the human eye. I don't know what's going on here. What is... They can still get out. Usually it gets this bad if something is pathfinding really hard. But there shouldn't be. Store all these items. I don't know. A giant key has stolen copper greaves. 
Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. But at least he claimed his whatever, the uh, mechanic workshop, so maybe I can put a lever into the queen's place. That will be particularly nice. You know, even temporarily. And the migrants keep coming, despite my population now being like three times what the total population of the world dwarves was. They keep coming. It's very strange. I do not understanding. Doesn't appear to have been the largest migration ever. 54, we had 46 before, so about eight. Hmm. Still, where are they all coming from is really what I want to know. If they don't exist in the world, where are they coming from? Somebody asked, by the way, not too long ago, you know, about legends to see if it said anything about them. And I did, I made a copy of the world and I took a look. How, goodbye, it looks like I got my speed back. Ooh, what's going on? Oh, good, finally killed the Kia. Um, what am I saying? Oh, I looked and history doesn't yet really know anything about my fort. So there wasn't anything useful to look at. King, queen. Sorry, I was just looking to make sure I didn't have a mayor. Uh, that'd be even worse. <laughs> Tree of life. Stone rock, I think that's where they begin. Gems shining. Uh, Tree of life, or tree life, rock. Rock, gems, okay. So I've got two rocks in there already, so I need to find gems, which is not too hard. Designate ore gems, let's get some right here. Uh, and I got, I think, tons of wood, so that shouldn't be a problem. There we go. Pear cut, black zircons, fungi wood. All right, so at least he's happy for the moment. Still trying to build up resources uh, to finish up down here. Oh, look, they made it. Cool. But have they been making any obsidian for me? No, it's still down to two. Guys, come on. Oh, look at that. I got a crundle. I got a bunch of crundle now, trained. In fact, I don't really need crundle, so I'm going to send them off for uh, processing. This troll, though. What do I do with the troll? Hmm? Can I train him up somewhere? Can, do I even have the means? Copper, uh, sorry, Q? Hello? Bill? <sighs> U-M. Copper chain. Let's make a couple of those. Stick them up outside somewhere. I don't know if that'll help in any way, but what do we got? Lots of bone. Let's make bone bolts. And bone, uh, earrings. Fine. Make bone earrings, bone... Uh, crossbows. Don't really need those. Crafts, that's fine. Okay. Uh, totem. Make a bunch of those. Get things out of the way. And maybe have something to trade later, unlike today. <laughs> Alright, okay. Um, time's pretty good. Nothing huge happened. Um, progress out front, though, is, is good, I guess. So, I'll call it for now, and hope you guys will come back next time. Thanks. Thanks.